So, Courtney was watching me record the last episode when she told me, after I finished recording, that that's actually our favorite little friend. The little weird slug antelope man. Please don't hurt me. Jeez. Fine, I'll leave. Goodbye. I know when I'm not welcome. So, of course, obviously, saddest news of the game so far is that the passing of Slug Antelope Man, who's probably neither of those things, but that's okay. Yes, I mean, it tops bottles, and it'll probably top the tears that come out of this little bottle's son's eyes when I tell him that his dad perished last episode. If you guys missed it, go check it out. It's really sad. Anyway, hello everyone and welcome back to some more Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. In the last episode, we started the adventure, and I forgot to start my timer. Great. Bottles House? Yay. Hi. Can I tell you something really sad about the guy that you idolize so much that he's on your wall? Hello there, Banjo! How are we today? Pretty good. Miss Bottles? And yourself? Oh, fine, fine. Tell her about Ghostly Boy. Jeez. Keep quiet, Kazooie. What was that? Is Bottles okay? He should be back from Spiral Mountain for his dinner soon. He never misses his dinner, you know. No, I'm sure he'll be back soon, Miss B. Is the, uh, is the object of the game to get Bottles back? I'm... Is there a way we can? Because if we're just avoiding not telling her right now, that's kind of upsetting. Is this his wife or his mom? I don't know. Who are you? Man, her eyes are scary. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, I'm gonna go find, uh, find his son, who I can assume is his son, or his younger brother. Hey, bud. Hey there, Banjo. Hi, Specky! Me and my dad are going to be playing in the kickball tournament next week. Over at the Mayan Stadium. King Jingling has organized it especially for my dad, since he's such a hero. Uh, I don't suppose you have any substitutes? Oh my god. Why would we need substitutes? My dad is the best on the team. I'm sure he was. Uh, is. And did you know that tunnel over there is my secret way out of the village? You might find it useful. We already know that King Dingaling is a personal friend of ours. He opened it up especially missed it. Nice! But he thought it was cool. Yeah, your dad's dead. Bye. Um, okay. Where will this take us exactly? New lands await! Hello? Where are we? Back to the- ooh, Wooded Hollow. Okay. I am Jiggy Wiggy, and this is my temple. If you want to see me, you'll need to get past my doorman first. Um... Your doorman has a Jiggy for his head. I'm not sure if you're aware. Oh, cool. Looks like they came from this way. And then immediately boulders fell behind it. On the trail, Sully! Oh yay, we can open the silo. We can now teleport. Is he gonna mention it? Can I try it? <laughs> Where are you going, punk? Oh, you could just... Um... Okay. Neat. So that kind of takes place, uh, the place of the, uh, the magic pot I meant to kill him. Please die. Thank you. That takes place of the magic pots. That's really cool. I like this. Something that I heard a long time ago is that this is actually one big world, whereas Banjo-Kazooie, um, wasn't? Hey, how you doing? I am a lowly disciple of Mystic. I work the door of his sacred temple to keep out those who are not worthy. Sounds like fun. Do you think we are worthy? That depends. To prove yourself worthy to enter, you must collect images in the form of Jiggy Wiggy himself. And what might these images look like? Jigsaw pieces, also known as Jiggies. That sounds familiar. Let's see what you have then. It seems you have collected enough Jiggies to be allowed inside. Remember, no cameras permitted. And only food purchased at McJiggies can be eaten within. Okay. Cool. 
lad. I'm gonna go get the friggin' McJiggy double. What would that be called? Is there something back here? Yeah! I always reap the- reap? Is that the word I'm looking for? That's probably the word I'm looking for, it sounds right. Reap the rewards? Is there something this way? Ooh, feathers! I want them all. Just give them- Yeah, okay. Probably shouldn't have gotten them all while they were red, but whatever. It's just whatever. See you later, thanks for the entrance. Jiggy Wiggy's temple. Whoa, look at that reflection. <laughs> Greetings, O Chosen One. You have entered the sacred temple of Jiggy Wiggy. Approach the golden monolith if you wish to prove yourself worthy. Again? I gotta prove myself again? I had to prove myself to get in here and I have to prove myself in here? Okay. I will, uh, I will do so. Oh, is this like to get us to worlds? What? Okay, well, I'm gonna read the sign then, just because it's here. Hello. Whoops, skipped it. When fortune smiles, here will be written the Jiggy Secrets. Ooh, it's being cryptic. I remember there was a lot of cryptic stuff that happened in, um, Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, near the end, I guess. Press B when near the monolith to attempt Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 1. Okay. I'll attempt it. Please don't be a paint a picture. This is the- Yeah, it's a picture and it's all black again. Dear God. You must complete the image before you if you wish to travel to where it shows. Use the control stick to guide your hand. Press A to pick up a piece. Once a piece is held, it can be placed down by pressing A. Or return to the outside by pressing B. You only have a limited time to prove yourself. May Jiggy Wiggy grant you luck. Thanks. Okay. Save stating because this cannot go well. Um, if you guys miss- No. No. There it goes. Uh, missed a- I can't even- Please don't- Is this gonna be a recurring thing? The- Thing. Theme? In this? Because if it is, this is gonna be really hard. Yeah, thumbs up! We created a friggin' broken television? Jiggy Wiggy's challenge won, so now that the great one will- t Whoops. Sometimes the text goes too fast, sometimes it goes too slow. Jiggy Wiggy's temple. Is that how we get to the, um, worlds in this? Because if that's how we get to the worlds, then we're absolutely f Behold the power of the j- Okay. Missing all of the dialogue. I'm not moving. Okay. Ilo Hags wooded hollow. What is happening? Oh, is it gonna open a door? <laughs> Isle of Hags wooded hollow. Did you forget? Open door. Whoa. Okay. Not what I was expecting. I like his design. <laughs> it's cute. You do not have enough jiggies to attempt to challenge two. Yeah, so we're gonna be doing it again. Good. Um... Good! I'll probably try to think of a way to fix that. I have no idea. It's an emulator thing. Um, it happened in- Okay, man. You look very depressed. Can I help you? Gonna be alright? He's nodding. Okay. Continuing with my life, I guess we're gonna go to the new open door, which will take us to hopefully a new world where we will start to actually progress in the game. That's it. Okay. I like the silos. They're cool. Um, like I said, they're probably just the pots, but like, they, they hold the same use as the pots from the last game, but they're like reskinned. It's neat. I like it. Hello, world! Mayahem Temple? Mayahem? Mayahem? Probably is. Whoa, song. <laughs> this is a warp pad. Find another one in this world, and you'll be able to warp between them. Really? Okay. Um. Does that mean that the worlds are going to be bigger? Hey. All right. Found one already. Cool. Can't do it though. Son of a bitch. 
right, was there a... I'm trying to remember. The only way you could get smaller is through transformations, right? I'm assuming there are transformations in this game again. Blue! Oh, God. I, I thought he was just making a face. I thought he was greeting me to his new temple area. I want the gold ones. Gold me! Um, and gold me again? You know what's really cool is the fact that they handed me all of the, um, the old powers at the very beginning. So that means that we can only get, uh, new powers. Which is cool. Does this trick still work? Where you're invincible if you're doing the backflip? I remember that was a thing. Also, I'm noticing that once you ground pound, you're not in a static position. That's new. There's just little intricacies that are different. You found some notes, boy! Now come and find me! Okay. Why? Wow! You are... Weird. What is this? Hi. Can I interest you in some peck? No? Okay. Hello? This mumbo pad. Mumbo stand on it to perform great magic. You know what? Good for you, mumbo. That's good. I see you later, then. The mighty shiny one sleeps until his services are required once again. Indeed he does. I know exactly what that means, cryptic, cryptic game. It's weird how they're kind of in, like, a little basket. I don't- I don't know why. You know what- oh god, you know what I completely forgot about that I haven't actually looked up the progress on in a while is, uh, ukulele. I wonder- it's not done. I would have heard if it's done. Hey, get your sorry hide over here and press B. Okay. I hear the whistling of the Jinjo. Drill Sergeant Jam Jars reporting for duty. Banjo, get a load of this bozo. He looks like bottles in uniform. Of course I look like bottles, you punk! He's my brother! Oh. How's the geek keeping, anyhow? Not too good. Whoa! Recently deceased at the hands of Grunty the Witch. Sorry to hear that. Uh. No, I'm sorry. He's your brother, Jesus. Anyway. Typical, so you'll be wanting to learn some of my special moves to get to even with the witch. Huh? Not really. Bottles taught us loads in the last game. Breaking the fourth wall. Good. Glad. Ha! Huh. He only knew some moves. You'll get nowhere with my- uh, without my advanced techniques. Sounds good to us, jam jars. Why not teach us? Not that easy, punk! You've got to prove your sorry selves first by collecting me a few notes. Come back if you can find enough. Hey, wait a minute. I see you've got enough notes for my first lesson. Listen and learn, you punks. What you need is an aiming sight. Hit the target, then you might... First person view by pressing triangle. Hit Z to fire with... Really? That'll be all. Dismissed. Goodbye. You see, the thing that um, confuses me about the dialogue in this game, it's not hard to read dialogue. Obvious. Okay, bud. Please, 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 don't do that. Thank you. Um, wait a second. We're collecting one note and it equals five? Is that just for the starting world? It's probably just for the starting world. Unless there are... 100 times 5, 500. I knew it. Yes, that's correct. I just looked at Courtney as if I'm, like, stupid. Please tell me I'm correct and I'm not making a stupid idiot of myself, because I did that. You found another warp pad! Move on to it and press B to warp to any other warp pad that you have ever activated in the world. Yes, thank you. I knew. I knew that. Is this the new Mumbo place? Oh, cool. So, did he say triangle? BAM! No. Wait, triangle? <laughs> it's really confusing to me because I'm playing on a PS4 controller, so triangle is like... Oh, C? Z? Oh, Courtney's telling me it's Z. What's Z? That's Z. Oh, man! Banjo-Tooie's a first-person shooter. Come over here, you punk! Get your ass in sight! 
Ecom Bokum, Ecom Bokum. I like this place. Fire! No. This is cool. I like this. Fire! No. How do I get out of this? Oh, it's first person. Neat! I like it. It's it's cool. It's like they 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 took what they started in. Where is he? Wow, that's a noise that I don't want to hear again. Stop, Khajiit! I'll turn you into a rug. Oh, what is that? How do I get out of this? Oh God! Please let me get to this quick. You've collected a skill. Stop, honeycomb. Press B to stop your energy bar as close to the top as possible. Huh? <laughs> Did I do it wrong? What happened? What was that? Hi! Yes, that is a weird sound. Please leave me alone. So like I was saying about the dialogue, um, it's it's when there are names and then I reread the names because I'm super self-conscious about the names ever since the bubbles. Bubbles, that's the actual incorrect name. The bubbles incident, as it shall now be called. Hello. Mumbo's skull. Oh, suddenly a shadow. I feel like some of these... You've caught a globo. They're supposed to have magical powers. Globo? Globo. Um. Oh, he's cute. Oh, he's so adorable. I don't. It. Wait. Is that. No. A globo is not the little thing, is it? That died in the beginning of this episode? Well, technically, last episode. Hey, Mumbo, how you doing? I like to sleep with a sack of crap. Hey, Mumbo, can you do something interesting? Ah, bear and bird here at last. Mumbo, best shaman in game. So built new skull. Mumbo also want to help, but must find me my, uh, me magic. Uh, we've got a globo. Must give magic creature to Mumbo if want help. Want Mumbo's help? Absolutely. I'll give you the globo. Sure, we need all the help we can get. Throw it in Mumbo's bag. I'm gonna play with myself. Ah, Mumbo get to, to be hero at last. Press B to see Mighty Shaman Zap Stick. Return me to my chair when want to be bear and bird again. What? What? Ha! <laughs> Oh, this is cool. Hey, Banjo. Wow, this is the first time I could look at you in this, like, first-person position. Neat. Neat. I like it, game. Use the giant shiny one to open the huge stone doors. The giant... Did I read that one? Use the... Use T. Oh, got it. T. Use the giant shiny one. Oh, I got it. Am I the giant shiny one? Is that what this is? Whoa! The face of a man who has no qualms with killing someone. Okay. This is neat. I like this a lot. Can I do something special as Mumbo besides this? Wait. Oh, now he's shaking again. I was gonna say, was that a glitch the first time and I didn't know? Ha! I thought that would do something. Why did I think that would do something? I'm out! I'm out! See you, Banjo! Back into the beautiful world. Um... Wait, let's try this. Choose a destination. Neat. Ooh, there are so many improvements on this one. It's like, that- that are just, you know, gameplay improvements, but they really help, and it makes it so much easier. I like it a lot. I'm gonna be honest, um, strong start, in my opinion. Um, ow. Please, sir. Care for this? Nope! No you don't. Okay. Just gonna, just gonna hold my head in shame. Hang it in shame. Or whatever the phrase is. Um, where's the thing that I saw? Yeah, over here. Got it. Mumbo head. Press B to see mighty Mumbo magic. Huh? Hope this works! You don't even know. Jesus. This is... Definitely gonna be my ringtone. 
Ubadaka. It's like a Khajiit golem made of gold. Cute. Golden Khajiit golem. Mumbo magic make golden Goliath rise. Magic only lasts for something short time. And show me again. Wait. What? I thought it was gonna stop at controlling Mumbo. No. I can control this thing. Oh man. I have the jump of an athlete. Ser you know, in all actuality, I'm covering a lot of ground. Hello. Can I uh, enter? Hey, Jinjo. Hey, man. How you doing? No. I <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. I'm gonna walk away now. Oh god, the complexity of this really um Oh this is the this is the this is the golden guy and that's a door. Got it. I put the two pieces together. Um and another Jinjo that's also purple? Why is there purple two purple Jinjos? Is that a is that new? Like are all Jinjos just purple in this? Ha! Knock knock motherfucker. No. Not working. Hey bud. Piss off. Hey, it worked! Alright. Cool. Man, I love kicking skulls. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you, Ginge. Where are- Whoa, where'd the bridge go? Oh, here it is. <laughs> hey. And I'm back. Mumbo magic, run out. Oh. Wait, what? Wait, did I have to- Wait, what? Did I die? <laughs> I didn't die. Why did it make that- Oh, I got scared. Wait. Does that mean that my prog- No, the door's still open. Damn, that's a little weird. Like the eyes glowing. Hey, Jinjo. Listen, man, I hear ya. I'm gonna get to ya, but uh, first I'm gonna go inside here. See? Just like I said, I think it was last episode. I could go in places. I could go anywhere if I try with friends like Timothy by my side. I feel like I want to be Banjo and Kazooie at this point. Hi. I'm not gonna even attempt that. Sorry, Mumbo not speak way of stone, man. <laughs> I feel like Mumbo is like a strange foreigner. <laughs> I love him. He's uh, probably one of my favorite characters alongside Kazooie. Um, if I die in the game, do I die for real? And by that, I mean, do I go um, back to being Banjo and Kazooie? <laughs> it's not going so hot <laughs> for me. Um. Hey, sign! Cool! Warning! Trespassers in the uh, quicksand. I was gonna say trespassers will be prosecuted. <laughs> okay, I need to read that again. Trespassers in the quicksand are liable to be eaten. Good! That's- is this the quicksand? Listen, cause you, I don't need any of your sass. Oh, please. Good God! <laughs> I love Mumbo's face. I don't want to be eaten though, I just wanted to test it. Just dip my toe in. You know what, it's probably not a good idea to do that with one health. Because it would probably take one health. Or maybe insta-death? That's what I thought at first. Which to me was more comforting than- Why is that ticking down? Oh, oh, um, 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 that? And then, that, that, wait, oh no, it's B. It's B. Son of a bitch. Whoa! Wait, did I just gain that life back? Is that what that was? Oh! Thank you, Beetle. Um, what is this? Wow, this is like a Skyrim puzzle. It's like a snake, whale, and eagle situation. Okay, well, I'm just gonna leave that alone. Seriously, that cat needs to stop his meowing. Stop the meowing! I feel like that would hurt. I feel like that would be one of the worst deaths in, uh, in, in, in all of video game history. I don't know what Mumbo's magic is like, but damn, it looks super, super painful. Weird. Oh, no. Oh, cool. I thought, okay. I think in Banjo-Kazooie, the water was just, you know, flat and static, but in this, it actually moves. It's actually animated. I think it might have been flat and static. I can't remember. Hey, man. Ah, okay. Yeah, you don't mess with Mumbo. Leave him alone. Oh, wait, did I step on this yet? Got it. Got it. Cool. Um, can I go back to uh, being Banjo and Kazooie? Ooh, the destination. Can I get uh, 
hurt when I'm like this, I wonder? Um, yeah, this. This is the one. Man, Mumbo looks completely distraught. Maybe it's over the loss of bubbles. Bottles. Bottles. Or is it bubbles? It's bottles. It's bottles. For God's sake, Bryson, it's bottles. Hey, Banjo, I'm back, man. I, uh, you'll never believe what I did. I made a giant gold statue move and kick a guy in the friggin' head, and he died. <laughs> that was funny. Hey, hey, man. Wow. Whoops. Did not mean to do that. Sorry. Do I, uh, I missed what he said. How do I not be you anymore? Uh, hey, man. Well, look at the time! It's time to end the episode anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this is actually gonna be the last one in this recording session. I only needed two. So, I will be able to get your comments that you guys left on the first episode for tomorrow's episode. So, all will be well. Um, here, I want to pitch this idea to you guys. Because last time I played this game blind, like 100%, I got your guys' input. And because of which, um... Playing it like 100% blind, progression was really slow. Um, if somebody, I, I could do it myself, I'll look it up, but if somebody wants to send me like the most bare bones walkthrough that I will only refer to if I actually get like 100% stuck, that would be super helpful. Um, I will also respond to your guys' comments and, but man, we're in synchronous. Oh, not anymore. I was moving my head at the same time as Panda. Yeah, so basically, if you guys want to give me a link to like a really bare bones walkthrough, I would really appreciate it because it would help progression of the let's play and we wouldn't have a whole episode of just getting one jiggy and nothing else. Or no jiggies, I'm sure that happened before, I can't remember. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this episode, please give it a like. If you want to subscribe to follow the remainder of the let's play, do so. Come back next time for when we'll probably figure out how to not be mumbo. God willing.